Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Data BI SQL. So in today's video, right, uh, we'll proceed with the part 28 of Amazon SQL interview question series. So I have made around 27 parts before this and you can see, find that everything in one playlist. I highly recommend you to go through that playlist uh, before an interview. Uh, so this will be the 20th uh, uh, video of that series and uh, you can see the playlist in the uh, in the description section so um, before we start with the video right I request you guys to please subscribe to my channel and uh, like my videos if you find my content very useful uh, so let's get started uh, so the question for today is display the job IDs where there are at least two applicants from the same state so if you have seen my uh, video starting part 25 I have used like jobs underscore dim and jobs underscore applicant dim table so um, but if you haven't watched that that's also fine because the question is is, is totally different from what what is covered in those videos but I would highly recommend you to go and and watch those videos uh, right before you watch this video then you can get some context of how this table works so uh, uh, the, the if you look at this jobs underscore applicant dim table, right? Uh, so it's basically a pretty simple, straightforward table. It has a job ID, uh, it has a job type, and then it's a, it has applicant ID and the applicant state, right? Uh, the applicant decides in which state, and then applicant countries. For 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 simplicity, right? I've taken country only as USA. So you'll see all the states related to USA in the in the table. Um, so if you see right, I mean, uh, the, the reason why I did order by job ID and applicant state is because the questions is question uh, is being asked in a such a way that this will help us sort out the data. So if you see this, what they are saying is uh, display those job IDs, uh, right, where the where the applicants are, where two or at least two applicants, right, are from the same state. So uh, uh, why this, uh, I mean, you will say that there are applicants will always be from the same state, right? But that's not true, right? I mean, uh, but there are jobs which are remote, right? So if you see there are job type is remote. So in remote work, right, you can apply from any state, correct? So, and you can reside in any state. So in that case, right, I mean, uh, there could be the scenario where the applicant uh, are from are from different state, right? Even if you have like 10 applicants, all, all can be from different states. So, Real possibility. So let's look at the data, right? So I have sorted the data by job ID and state. So if you see the job ID number 10, uh, right, you can see that there is there are people from Arizona, California, and New Jersey, Ohio. So all these things will not come. But then there are two applicants from Texas, right? So that should come, correct? So that definitely should come up, correct? So uh, uh, the job ID 10 and the state Texas should come up, correct? Then there is 20 where everybody is from Arizona, right? So they should definitely come up. And 30 is California, right? And North Carolina, uh, both are there. And then uh, Connecticut is 40 and 50 is Connecticut, uh, right? Uh, so so Connecticut should come up as well for 50. Uh, see, New York and Texas, there is only one one applicant, so those should not come up, right? Similarly here, uh, if you see uh, for job number 30, uh, not job number 30 here job number 10 Ohio New Jersey Arizona California Seattle should not come right only Texas should come up for 10 because that's where there are more than one applicant correct uh, uh, for, for that job ID so uh, I have written this query uh, right I mean pre-written this query and uh, um, I know that many of you have asked that I should write a live query and I am doing that if you see my video number 27 I have already done that uh, but uh, some of the queries, right, can take long time. And uh, if I see the analytics for my videos, right, I mean, on an average, the videos are being watched for three minutes, right? I mean, so that's why if you see, I have re reduced the number of uh, uh, minutes that I've, I used to like, you know, start with like 20, 25 minutes video, which I cut down to 10 minutes, right? I mean, uh, just because, uh, you know, if uh, you're going to watch it, the video for three, four minutes, like skipping the, uh, the, the, the parts right I mean there's no point me making like 20 minutes video right so uh, I mean let me know in the comments uh, what would you, what you would like I mean whatever you say right I'll do it uh, if you want longer videos with live query um, I can write live query I've written the queries for last 16 years so you know it's not a kind not a big deal for me to write the live query and show you uh, the example uh, 
uh, but just because uh, you know the videos are being watched for less time i am reducing the time you know i i am seeing where i can reduce my time um, right i mean so it's it, it the content is useful for you guys so uh, if you see here uh, right what i have done is i have written a sub query uh, I'll, i'll tell you why i've written a sub query and then i have uh, selected the columns from there so uh, the the sub query is written basically to get the draw data right to look at the raw data whether our thesis is correct uh, the data we are pulling is correct uh, and then finally i have uh, i have treated that sub query as a table x and then i have pulled the column that are requested in the interview question uh directly you know from the table so that so we kind of you know uh, and distinct because the raw data will will show multiple rows so here i have written distinct so that's why you know you will uh, 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 you will see the final output there so uh, uh, what we'll do is so probably to explain the query right it is basically what they're saying is the job id is where at least there are two applicants from the same state right so uh, how do you find out two applicants are from the same state right so in order to find that out right i mean we need to do a self join so there is a concept called self join in sql right where you use the same table two times because we need to match the state right uh, uh, so if you were to get uh, a state uh, right i mean uh, where the two applicant two different applicants uh, for the same job id are from two dif- are from the same state we'll have to match the state right for those two uh, two different applicants and and for the same job id right so that's why we need to do the self join so self join is basically we are using the table for same table two times right so what we are doing is basically we are saying that table a and table b job id should match because the what is the requirement the job id should have two applicants or two or more applicants from the same state right so job id has to match and then applicant state has to match right because that's the requirement right the job id has to match and then applicant state uh, has to match because we are trying to find out more than one correct more like at least two right so so this clause needs to be there and then what we are doing is count of applicant state right because uh, you know we need to have a count right I, otherwise how will you filter out the data so we need to do count of 1 2 3 4 like like that right and then what we are doing here is basically or uh, once you use a count right you have to group by so we are grouping by job id applicant id and applicant state right because that's being requested correct so this like the job id is where there are two applicants from the same state so we have to pull all three and group by all three right and order by okay so let's just for a uh, let's not just put filter let's just run this query uh, without a filter so what you will do is, what you will see is for this job id and this applicant id there are only one one right one one state but 311 and 314 like we saw in the raw data both belong to texas right and both will have two two because uh, both are belong to texas right that's why the count is two uh, similarly for job number 20 we saw arizona there are four applicant right and 318 uh, so basically you will see four rows and then basically four count correct so we need to filter out this one one right because they are saying that at least you need to have um, two right so here if you see in job 50 there is new york only one texas one so we should not display this right so that's why we have put this having a uh, clause in that where there are at least one applicant right so greater than one so greater than means at least two right so if you see you will see only those one filtered out and only two two right so only two two applicants from each of the states that we saw in the raw data right so after that once you got the query what i am doing is i'm just selecting the distinct job id and application applicant state right because they are asking not are asking for applicant id they are saying job id and state right they are saying display only the job id but i am displaying the state just for so there are a thesis is right right so basically job id 10 texas were 2 20 we saw arizona four applicant correct so that's why you see but we don't need to display four times we the our final output should have only the job id and the application state right so 30 california 30 north carolina we saw 2 2 right and 40 and 50 we saw connecticut so our answer is right now they said we need at least four at least four right so that means what we will do greater than 3 right so what what will happen in that case only arizona and connecticut is showing up because that has at least 3 right at least four correct i mean other everything else is is sorted out because these are the two only where they have, there are at least at least four applicants right from the same state but the question they are asking is uh, show me at least two that's why i put a greater than one 
Okay, so these are the job IDs and the states where there were at least one, at least two applicants for that job ID, right? Okay. <coughs> All right. So uh, uh, this, so what we learned in this is basically we learned the concept of subquery, then we learned the concept of count, and then how to filter uh, out data using that count and we learned an uh, important concept of self join right when you are they are asking uh, you know uh, question where you need to match the thing right and you have one table so you are saying from same state right so how will you do that then you need to use self join that should click in your mind that you know they are asking for the same state so you need to bring the data where the, the states are matching and if you don't have two tables then you will need to use one table so you need to use a self join so that should click click based on the question right like if you break it down then it should click in your mind that what query, what uh, select clause, what having clause, what group by clause you need to use, right? So that's it for it today, guys. Uh, please leave comments, uh, you know, and feedback, uh, uh, and, and definitely I'll 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 read those comments and and improve upon those. Thank you.